Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 10 students. Sa video na ito ay igagaid ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 2, Describe the properties of the graph of the given polynomial functions. Letter A, we have f of x equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 2x squared. Itong polynomial function na to, pwedeng palitan ng y or i write as y equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 2x squared. Dito sa letter A, we have a standard form. Ano ang standard form ng polynomial function? In decreasing powers. Since in decreasing powers na to, ibig sabihin, ang standard form ng polynomial function is y equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 2x squared. Basta naka-arrange yung power niya in decreasing powers. So, 4, 3, 2, so, yan na yung ating standard form. Next, ano naman ang leading term? Yung leading term, yun yung pinakauna dito sa polynomial function, yung pinakaunang term, and that is x raised to 4. Next is, ano naman ang x-intercepts and its multiplicities? Unahin muna natin tong x-intercepts. Kapag kinukuha natin yung x-intercept, let y equals 0. So, kapag 0 yung y, magiging... 0 equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 2x squared. And as you can see, pwede natin itong i-factor. Ano ang pwede nating technique or method para ma-factor natin to? Factoring by common monomial factor. Ano ang common factors nito? That is, x raised to 2 at yung x raised to 2 ilalabas natin. So kapag ilalabas natin si x raised to 2, anong matitira sa loob? Simply divide x raised to 4 divided by x squared equals x raised to 2. Then negative x cubed divided by x squared equals negative x. Negative 2x squared divided by x squared equals negative 2 na lang. So, ito na yung factor nito. Pero, as you can see, pwede pa natin i-factor itong trinomial na to. By trial and error method. Okay. So, mag-isip kayo ng factor ni negative 2 na kapag inad ninyo, magiging negative 1. Since x squared yan, so x times x yan. At parehong negative kaya negative tsaka positive. Anong number ang imumultiply mo negative 2 at pag inad mo negative 1? That is negative 2 times positive 1. So, ang factor ng trinomial na to ay x minus 2 times x plus 1. At, syempre, huwag niyong kakalimutang idagdag yung x squared. So, ito na yung factor ng polynomial na to. Pero, hindi pa yan yung x-intercept. Kasi, kapag kukunin natin yung x-intercept, i-equate pa natin yan sa 0. So, unahin muna natin tong x squared. x squared is equal to 0. Or, x equals to 0 na dalawang beses. By solving quadratic equation, pwede natin square root. So, magiging x equals 0. At dalawang x yan, ibig sabihin, ang multiplicity natin ay x equals 0 to the multiplicity multiplicity of 2. Okay, kayo na magkompleto niyan. So, ito lang yung multiplicity natin kasi ito lang naman yung dalawang beses. Or x times x yan kasi ang ibig sabihin niya. Ito naman ni isa lang, kaya x minus 2 equals 0. Transpose natin sa kabila, mag-change ng sign, magiging positive 2. So, yan na yung pangalawang x-intercept. At next naman is x plus 1 equals 0. Transpose natin sa kabila, mag-change ng sign, magiging negative 1. Hindi pa yan yung x-intercept niya kasi hinequate lang natin sa 0. So, ang mga x-intercept natin ay 0, 0, 
Ito naman ay positive 2, 0. Next is we have negative 1, 0. So, ito yung x-intercepts natin na, na gets ninyo. Next, kunin naman natin yung y-intercept. Para naman makuha yung y-intercept, ito naman ay let x equals 0. So, kapag yung function natin ay y equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 2x squared, papalitan lang natin ng 0 yung mga x kasi let x equals 0. So, magiging y equals 0 raised to 4 minus 0 raised to 3 minus 2 times 0 raised to 2. And ang magiging final answer niyan is equal to 0. Meaning to say, ang y-intercept natin ay 0, 0. Yan yung y-intercept. Ito, yung nandito sa y-coordinate. Okay? Ngayon, ano naman ang number of turning points? Ang number of turning points ay madedetermine natin sa leading term ng polynomial function or yung kanyang degree. Ang degree natin is fourth degree, di ba? Kasi x raised to 4 yung highest exponent. So, meron tayong formula na ginagamit that is n minus 1, which is yung n yun yung degree. So, magiging 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is equal to positive 3. So, meaning to say, ang number of turning points natin is 3. Tatlong beses na magta-turn yung magiging graph natin. So, ganun lang siya mga anak. Next, ano naman ang possible graph with end behavior? So, meron tayong table na gagamitin para ma-determine natin kung ano yung possible graph. Ito ha, tatanda niyo ito ha. Kapag ang degree natin ay even, ibig sabihin, ang magiging end point natin is parehong rising at parehong falling. Parehong rising yung graph natin kapag ang leading term is positive. Ito. Kapag naman ang leading term is negative, ang magiging graph natin ay parehong falling. Ayan o, pareho silang pababa. Ito naman parehong pataas yung end behavior nila. Nag-guess Kapag naman ang degree ng function ay odd, for example, x raised to 3 at negative x raised to 3, di ba odd yung kanyang exponent or yung degree niya? Ito kasi even eh, kasi x raised to 2. Meaning to say, ang graph niya is falling tsaka rising kapag positive yung leading term. At kapag negative naman yung leading term, ang magiging end point ng graph is rising at falling. So, rising ito at falling yung nandito sa right hand. Ito naman, falling yung nandito sa left hand. Dito naman sa right hand ay rising. Okay, nagets ninyo? Pag even yung degree, it's either rising or falling. Pag naman odd yung ating degree, falling, rising, at rising, falling. So, anong magiging possible graph ng ating polynomial function? Possible graph lang naman, hindi naman ito yung totoong graph niya. So, gawa tayo ng x-axis. Okay? So, again, ano ang number of turning points natin? Tatlo. Diba x raised to 4 yun? That is y equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 2x squared. And as you can see, ang degree natin is even. Kasi 4 yung highest exponent. Ibig sabihin, parehong rising at positive yung leading term. Meaning to say, ang graph natin is parehong rising yung and behavior niya. Ganito yung graph niya, pero tatlong beses tayo magta-turn. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, meron parang double use dyan sa graph ng polynomial function. Okay? So, yan na yung magiging possible graph ng polynomial function. Kung gusto nyo panoorin yung number 2, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!